everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday morning and I'm on my way to Jill's to babysit Issa and Ife. Issa was in Taekwondo camp for two weeks. So Jill would take him and then either I would go pick him up or she would pick him up if she got off work early enough. So for those days I just had Ife, but this week he's not in Taekwondo camp. But he's gonna he told his dad he wanted to go to space camp, so this Sonny got online and found him a space camp, so I don't know how many weeks that one is gonna be for, but that will be good for him and I know it's gonna be a lot of fun. on my shoulder. I don't know whether to call it an injury or or what. My shoulder miss out. So my appointment with the shoulder replacement surgeon. There are only two surgeons in this practice who do shoulder replacement surgery. So I, had, I made the appointment. It was for July the 13th. Y'all know I'm superstitious. I don't leave the house on the 13th if I can keep from it. But I, but I put that out of my mind and made the appointment because I knew I, I needed it. Didn't matter if it was at 2 o'clock in the morning. I had to, to take it. So then yesterday I checked my mail and there was a letter from the doctor's office saying that they had tried to get in touch with me and couldn't reach me by the phone number that I had given them and to please call to reschedule the appointment because the doctor has to reschedule. So I called and first of all, what phone number do you have? And she rattled off some weird number that is nowhere near my phone number. I don't know how they got it messed up. So I made sure she's got my right phone number and then I when I finished the call, I went into my contacts and added it and made sure that it was part of my contacts and not spam. So anyway, I said, well, you know, I got this letter and they're saying to call that the doctor can't keep that schedule for the 13th. So she looked and looked and looked. I mean, he's, he also practices in Queens and a couple of other places, but they're far away from where I live. So then she said, um, well, he can see you on August the 3rd. I said, okay, I'll take it. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm in severe pain. Um, the other orthopedic doctor only gave me a prescription for enough Tramadol to last until I saw him on the 13th. I have, I'm not taking the trauma doll the way it was prescribed because I, well first of all I don't think I need 350 milligrams a day so I've been cutting them in half and just taking a half one three times a day with one Tylenol I went online and it does say that it, the trauma doll works better with Tylenol this is an opiate that doesn't have the Tylenol already in it like Percocet and Vicodin and more tap still. <clears throat> but that's just another little setback and I'm not too happy about it. But anyway, I'm just, you know, I'm not thriving, but I'm, I'm striving. <laughs> striving to get through each and every day. So thank you for being patient with me and for going back and watching my old videos. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so that's all. That's about all I got to say this morning is just another setback. 